Good morning. Hey, Mom. Hey, Linda. Off to the left. Look at that red tree. It's more red today than it was. And then I'm going to twist just a little here. Good morning. And that, look at all the red and orange in the trees. The color's changing every day. I love that swing, too, and it's just the right height for short-legged folk. <laughs> this is our first season on the East Coast, of course, and um, it's beautiful, isn't it? I have seen postcards and stuff. My, it's my favorite season, too. Can't, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the camera to turn around, but... Hey, Michelle, I'm sorry if I pulled you away from Heather Waxman. I was trying to wait till she was done. Uh, it's a Bass Pro Shop day. <laughs> We're just talking about fall. I also didn't do anything with my hair or face. Um, we were talking about this is my first fall on the East Coast. And, the, you know, you see stuff about the leaves. Let me use you for my mirror. And um, seeing it in person, the, none of the pictures I've ever seen do it any justice at all. And I'm double mauled today because I was a little tired, stayed up too late, and I thought I need a double boost of energy. Yeah, we do too, obviously. Uh, Catherine, I don't know if you know, but they sell these sweat, these hoodies every year for 10 bucks the day after Thanksgiving. They trick you and make you come in the store and fight the crowds for a $10 sweatshirt every year. <laughs> so, good morning. Yep, double mala. And uh, speaking of malas, I think two of you have, but maybe mom you have, but Sarah's had her Wisdom Word Wednesday scope already today, so hop on there and pick your card for later today. I picked number two. I didn't watch the whole thing. I just picked the second card. Okay. Yeah, we 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 go. Uh, we don't go shopping the day after Thanksgiving either, out of protest. But the day after the day after Thanksgiving, they usually still have some. Yeah, I saw you in there, number two. Oh yeah, cool. Um. And, yeah, if you can, don't shop the day after Thanksgiving. My uh, nephew's still at Walmart, and the things that people have to go through working Thanksgiving, first of all, and then the day after Thanksgiving, I think if I remember right, Catherine, didn't Altony get, like, physically hurt on one of the Black Friday days? She doesn't work at Walmart anymore, but... She used to, and, you know, if, if my shopping means somebody's getting beat up by customers, yeah. There's nothing I need that bad that I can't wait another day. And those sales are garbage anyway. Ah, shift happening. Slowly but surely. Yes, people be crazy. So, <coughs> yesterday's, let me introduce myself real quick. I'm Michelle Wolf. Um, I'm a coach. My newest tagline is helping you raise your happiness threshold. Yeah, she got pretty scared. Okay, that's ridiculous that a young woman has to get hurt and physically scared so that somebody can save 10 bucks on a laptop. No, don't do it. You can find me. Here's what I wanted to say. First of all, you can find me at caddyshackdesigns.com. You can also find me at facebook.com forward slash wolf den press. Or you can search for my name, Michelle Wolf Facebook, and you can find me that way. Um, I tell people to DM me on Twitter, forgetting that not everybody has Twitter. And... Um, Roseanne had a little trouble finding me to give me her address. So there's that. Google Michelle Wolf. I come up and an actress comes up. I'm not the actress, so there's multiple places that you can find me. So I want you to know that. And here's why. Yesterday's uh, discussion, 
had at least three people I know of um, emotional and um, had some emotions come up like around releasing guilt and shame and receiving a lot of love and forgiveness that was a little, maybe not overwhelming, but, um, whoops, gosh, you guys, oh, look, oh, I'm so sorry, are you okay, oh, heavens, oof, my whole tripod just collapsed. Well, there's the ceiling. <laughs> okay, let me get this back in here. I am so sorry about that. Hopefully no one's nauseous. Mm. Holy mackerel. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, it just popped right out of there. <laughs> well, that's because I didn't get it in there properly the first time. And then I was like, oh, it'll stay. Well, no, it won't stay. Any closed head injuries? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I want you to be able to find me if we have it. Let's just carry on like nothing happened. Um, if you have emotional reactions to our discussions, and several people did yesterday, um, positive, but still, you know, could use some support. I want you to feel... 100% free to contact me. There's no charge. I'm not going to charge you for a coaching session if you contact me to process through something that we've talked about in the morning scope. So please know that you can find me on the website. You can find me on uh, at caddyshackdesigns.com. I think in the about section is my email address. My Facebook button is there and you can message me through Facebook. You can also just straight email me at caddyshackdesigns at gmail.com. And I think I just busted up my knee again. Um, please reach out if you want or need <laughs> some extra support. If you have emotional reactions to stuff that we talk about. Because we talk about deep stuff. And if you've been estranged from the concept of God and Jesus and forgiveness and love and things like that, and all of a sudden you connect to it, it opens your heart and it can be really almost physically painful. Um, oh, my knee's a mess, Catherine. I don't know what I did to it. I think I twisted it when I... It's a mess. I actually may DM you about it because I need something more than Copa Eva and Deep Relief. Anyway, um, email me, message me on Facebook. I'm happy to help you process through anything that gets triggered during our discussions without a fee. I'm not going to charge you for that. So, okay. So caddyshackdesigns at gmail.com. There you go. Spammers, spam away. Or find me on the website or find me on Facebook. I'm not hard to find. If you Google me, I, c I come up. If you Google Michelle Wolf Facebook, you'll find me. And you can friend me. Most of my page is public now anyway. So not a problem. And you're not imposing on me. And you're not taking up my time. Um, you're not taking up time that I'm not willing to give. So um, too often people feel like, well, they don't want to be a bother. Well, let me decide what's a bother and what's not a bother. If it takes me a few hours to respond, I'll still respond. So don't worry about that. If you need help, ask, ask for it. Okay, and thank you to the people who were inspired and scoped about it and reached out for support. That That's good. That's very good self-care, and, and that's awesome that it connected you to your heart yesterday. So you can get some love. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Anytime. I love you guys. So today's lesson... Oh... And my mom said somebody she knew said, Mom, you can put it up there who it was, if I forget, a teacher or somebody, said the father, <laughs> said the farther you feel away from God, the more you may cry when you connect to that energy. Because it's such a relief and it's such a coming home. Um, if you feel like 
you are just lost in the wilderness and then you connect to your heart and you connect to the Christ energy or the God or source or whatever, you get that rush of love, you can cry a lot. And that's okay. It just means that you felt really lost and alone <clears throat> and you tapped into the thing that lets you know that you're never you're never lost or alone. Unity, yep. Yeah. Oh the unity. Oh, the preacher at Unity Church. Gosh, what was his name? Holderman? But Bob, no, I don't remember. Holderman, Paul Holderman, that's who that was. So yeah, so today is lesson 301 in part two of the workbook, if you're following along in the actual Course in Miracles book. Um, and it says for today, and God himself shall wipe away all tears. That's the part that's listed in the book, Holy Shift. If you're watching the replay, we pull from... Robert Holden's book, Holy Shift, and that's what it is for today. Then we come to the big book, and we read the whole thing. So, and God himself shall wipe away all tears. So the rest of it is, Father, unless I judge, I cannot weep, nor can I suffer pain or feel that I am abandoned or unneeded in the world. This is my home, because I judge it not, and therefore... Is it only what you will? Let me today behold it uncondemned. Through happy eyes, forgiveness has released from all distortion. Let me see your world instead of mine, and all the tears I have shed will be forgotten, for their source is gone. Father, I will not judge your world today. And the second verse is, God's world is happy, and those who look on it can only add their joy to it, and bless it as a cause of further joy in them. We wept because we did not understand. But we have learned the world we saw was false. And we will look upon God's world today. Unless we're caught in a story. Unless we're caught up in judgment. We are not sad. Um, we don't grieve longer than is appropriate for things that things happen and we're sad about them. But they go on through, if we let them, hold on, we have some drama going on. That's the new kitty, the new old kitty, that's Ginger Rose, and she needs a little help. Oh, 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 oh. oh excuse me, oh my gosh, I'm just all over the place today. It does feel like a hug. Let me help her get back inside. Come here, come here, I'll help you. Uh... All right. <laughs> she wants to go through the bedroom window and it's not open because Heath is still asleep. If we're not storytelling, we see what they refer to as God's world. We see that everyone's doing the best they can, uh, including ourselves. And we see that the things that... Oh, you froze? Well, that's okay because I was staggering all around here, dropping shit. Wandering around in my jammies. My signal's probably bad. Excuse me now while I dig off this ace bandage, which is making me feel like my leg is being cut in half. Oh, is my signal fading in and out? Oh my gosh, you guys. What a day. What a day so far. We can't suffer pain. Okay, good. We can't, we only feel abandoned when we're separate from God. Otherwise, we don't feel abandoned. We might be going through something. We might feel lonely. Um, okay, good. We may feel momentary sadness that's situationally appropriate. <laughs> I got you. Um,. It's the difference between clean and dirty pain. Martha, call, Martha Beck calls it clean pain and dirty pain. Clean pain is the stuff that arises when something bad happens. It's fresh. It's immediate. It's intense. And we, if we let it go on through, it goes on through. Dirty pain is when we have something happen to us and we don't process it. 
Uh, so say a trauma happens to us and we don't process the grief involved. Then something else happens that makes us sad and we don't process it. And so it stacks up. Grief, anger, trauma can layer um, into this thick mess that's uh, so much harder to process later in life. Because now it's complicated. It's complex. It's tangled up. You can't really figure out what the original incident was. That's what she calls dirty pain. And I would call it complicated pain. Because it's harder to deal with. Um, it's dirty in the sense that it's old. And it's tangled up with a lot of different incidents. Not just... Excuse me. <laughs> not just the original one. So... This is our home, and we feel at home when we stay connected and when we process pain in the moment as best we can, as often as we can. On the complicated pain, we process it as much as we can, and then we have to back away a little bit sometimes, and then we process another round of it when it comes up, and we back off, and we just keep doing that, taking a layer and a layer away until we've reached a... Uh, a place of clarity and um, openness. So we've sort of scraped out the junk and now we're free to process pain in the moment as it happens because pain no longer scares us because we understand what it is. It's just an illusion. When you understand that panic and pain and fear just means you told yourself a lie and you believed it, then you can stop, tell yourself the truth, and go on about your business without things getting too tangled up. So let me today behold the world as uncondemned through happy eyes. Forgiveness has released us from distortion and illusion and storytelling that doesn't serve us. We tell negative stories. We can also tell positive stories about ourselves. We can, if we, even if we don't believe it, that we have confidence, we can tell ourselves a story of confidence. We can dig in our history and find one little incident where we felt confident and in charge and competent, and we can start to tell ourselves more stories like that if we want to. All the tears we've cried are forgotten. All the pain, all the shame, all the guilt that we thought we had to bear on our shoulders forever is forgotten because it was never there except in our minds and um, we're released for, from that and we're released from the source of all those stories and illusions and um, nightmares and dreams and that have nothing to do with reality God's world is happy I really believe that's true you can still be happy when something bad happens. It's melted away. That's a great way to say it. It's just melted away. And we can take a big deep breath and we can say, wow, I have lived through some interesting stories. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to myself differently now. And I'm going to reach for the hand of God more now to get through my days and to process whatever happens to me. Those who look on it add their joy to it. When we experience joy and enlightenment and truth, we add to the beauty of the whole world and we add our energy as a beacon for other people who are looking. We cried because we did not understand. But now we know and now we, we can look on the beauty of the world around us freely. And when we forget, we know how to bring ourselves back. And we keep practicing and practicing and deepening our understanding until this will eventually become second nature. It's actually our first nature, but um, it becomes our go-to place. Instead of sadness or anger being our go-to place under stress, we reach for God when we stress. We reach for that connection to source when we're upset. That becomes our go-to place under stress. And that can only be a good thing for us and everyone around us and anyone in the world in the middle of the night who feels lost and abandoned. 
reaches out for energy in their mind, they'll find you. They'll find what you're sending out. They'll find, they'll be able to tap into what you're broadcasting out into the world. So that's a huge gift that you give to the whole planet. Thank you for the hearts, by the way. They really, um, sometimes the color combinations are just really um, eye-catching. I wish you would leave her alone. I really do. For some reason, the black cat is obsessed with Ginger. Juniper Hoot. He's just obsessed with her. She's been trying to get into the house now for a while. And she gets there and then he starts pestering her. I don't know what his deal is. Look at him. Hey. You're being a jerk. Hootsie. What an asshole. Purple is nice. The combination of purple and green and the turquoise and sometimes then there's a splash of yellow. It's just very pretty. So, let's see what the self-help box has to say for us today. Don't forget to go pull your card. And then, the website's fixed. It took that woman, like, seriously five minutes to do it. And so, the Wolf Den Press website will be coming back to life. Dream it or just deny it? I don't know if I really get that. Dream it or just deny it. I don't like that one. Let's pull another one. Ooh, other people's opinions don't matter that much. Other people's opinions don't matter that much. Kitty! She's having a shitty day. Oh, this one's cute. Every cloud has a silver line in it. Oh, dream it or deny it. Your choice. Thank you. I was like, I don't get it. What? <laughs> Let's go back to that one. That's good. Thank you for translating it. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't know. Dream it or just deny it. That's a good one. Your choice. You can dream it or you can deny it. Well, that's actually far more appropriate. <laughs> I like that one then. And then here's another, the last one. Every cloud has a silver lining. Wait, how did you get in a cloud? <laughs> that's kind of silly. We'll stay with dream it or deny it. And other people's opinions don't matter that much. So go ahead and dream it. Because other people's opinions about your dream don't mean a thing. Other people's opinions about your dreamings, tell them, I don't give a rat to ass about your opinion. You can keep your opinion. It's absolutely perfect. I was like, mm. I'm a little, uh, I'm not, I'm definitely not firing on all cylinders yet today, guys. It's raining still. Uh, I was up a lot last night with uh, some significant knee pain. Um, so I'll probably lay around and do a lot of nothing today. And then I'm going to have to learn how to drive with my left foot. So that should be interesting. It's a team effort. It takes a village to translate a saying out of a self-help box. <laughs> and this is what I'm pulling from. And it is kind of cute. And it makes a cute gift. Self-help dispenser. I think it came from Barnes & Noble. Somebody gave it to me. Oh, gosh. Ice, oils, ace bandages. Um, what else? <laughs> Elevation, compression. I don't know what I did to it. I can stand on it. And I bet I can't raise it. Like, I can't raise my... <clears throat> okay. I will do it more often. I'm probably not doing it often enough. I can't... Um, from a standing position, I can't raise my leg up and bend it, um, but I can walk on it. And as long as I'm standing and there's no movement from side to side or any kind of twisting, I'm good. But the minute it twists, it's like a knife. Yes, a little bit. My right hip hurts. You guys, I fell in a ditch. <laughs> That's what I do. 
I don't know what I did to it. Remember, it was hurting. Yeah, it's my right knee. So it's probably like has something to do with masculine power processing stuff. Um, it was hurt from driving too much. And then it got better. Maybe, uh, no, it doesn't feel like sciatica. It feels like my hip. I know you guys all signed on here today to hear about my knee problem. <laughs> but, um, so it was better. So it was all better Saturday morning. Well, the cat got out. We let her out thinking, oh, she'll just, it's the one that's she, grit. She doesn't go very far. And they don't ever get to go out anymore. So we let her out on the new deck because they've been really curious about it. And we were like, well, we're out here. She'll be fine. I'm, I can't find it. I think I put it in the cabin. But yeah, I will. Um, and she made a loop around the deck and she ran down the stairs and took off. And so in the trying to catch her, because you can't pursue them, right? I know. Cats are assholes. I didn't. I, I didn't make it over the wall. If Linda had been here, she would have caught the cat. <laughs> I just made a third base lunging slide for the cat, missed, and fell in the ditch behind the propane tank. So my knee was all better. It was feeling great. And then I ruined it even worse than it was before. And I hurt my left knee. My left knee's fine, though. It just got bruised. And I hurt my right arm again. So I'm kind of a mess. You do need your own theme song. Yeah, Linda chased her cat and went leaping over a wall like a Charlie's Angel. Yeah, I may need to find a chiropractor. That's actually a good idea. Um, yeah, like she's a freaking pole vaulter, Olympic style. <laughs> and I just went diving in a ditch. <laughs> And was unsuccessful in my mission, too. So, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ice it again. I can't even find my bottle of Copa Iba, but when I was putting that on there, it wasn't working. Oh, uh, yesterday was tough, plus it's a full moon. So take it easy on yourselves. Um, you know, take it easy if you can. Yeah, and the cat's fine. She had a romp around the forest. Yeah, and they are still assholes. Cats can, really can be. Oh, brother. Okay, well. I have to try and find a carpenter. It's extremely painful. Like, extremely painful. <clears throat> I think so, Linda. I agree. I think we're all a little tired. We've all done some heavy processing. We're all growing at a really rapid rate. Um, every day we're diving into spiritual stuff. So everything that doesn't match the love that we're bringing in is going to come up and out. So for reals, dude, go to the doc for sure. Yeah, I th I'm going to have to find a chiropractor or a massage therapist or something because it's pretty painful. Okay, I will, um, what's today, Wednesday? I'll see you tomorrow. I have twins tomorrow, um, so got to drive left-footed down there. So I may drive around today and just kind of practice driving with my left foot because I can't, I absolutely can't drive with my right leg right now. So that's a bummer. It's really raining hard. Can you guys see that? You see all that rain or can you hear it? Sell our junk laying around. So, all right. Take care of yourselves. Rest. I'm going to do the same. Thank you. And um, have a lovely day. Love, love to you. And please, if you ever need the support, find me, CaddyShackDesigns.com, or just Google my name and I'll come up two Fs. You'll find me and reach out and get some support. I'm happy to help you process anything that you need to. All right. Take care. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Where's the button? <laughs>